You've chosen home assembly, make sure to have a professional bicycle mechanic safety check your bike before riding. Our contact information is on screen. Let us know if we can be of any help. Hey, this is Steve with Priority Bicycles, and today we're going to go over how to install the Planet Bike Eco Rack. So once you remove all the packaging, um, you'll notice that there's a bag of bolts and a few adapters for the frame. Um, you can disregard all of that. We include all of our own bolts with the rack, um, and it'll come in this manila envelope. And all you need to do this job is a four millimeter Allen key, a five millimeter Allen key, and an eight millimeter open ended wrench. Um, I'm just going to use a three-way Allen key for this guy just to keep it simple for us. If you purchased the Planet Bike Eco Rack and have a continuum, uh, there's a few extra steps that you might need to cover to uh, make it fit your bicycle. So first, you might want to just try and see where your rack arms land by placing it over, and these guys are definitely uh, a little bit more inward than the mounts themselves, but this is totally okay. So standard bike shop procedure, um, we just want to stretch these a little bit and you kind of just pull one and press the other and that'll widen these up just enough to get you over there. It might still be a little close, but you can just stretch a little bit with your hands from here. So to get started, we're just going to open up this rack hardware envelope um, and it's just the manila envelope that we include um, and it's going to have a few M6 bolts to attach the bottom of the rack to the dropouts. And the easiest way that I like to do this guy is just to put the M6 bolts in so that the rack is kind of just on there stationary. And then it makes it a lot easier to uh, work with the arms. So what we're gonna wanna do is take out both of the M6 bolts that are in here and both of the washers. Insert the washers onto the bolts. And then we can start attaching the rack to the bicycle. So we're just going to want to take this rack and place it over the dropouts um, and it'll go right over the eyelets on above the hub. And then we can just loosely screw these guys in with our hands to make sure that they get into the right eyelets and just kind of hold still. We're going to do the same on the other side. Once these guys are both in the eyelets, we can use our five millimeter Allen key to really tighten those guys down. Um, Cause you'll move the rack back and forth during the installation, um, but just enough so it sits still. So once this guy's bolted down to the mounts at the dropout um, by the hub, we can start working on the arms. Um, so you're gonna grab a four millimeter Allen key and your eight millimeter open-ended wrench and go to the bottom of the bolt and attach the eight millimeter wrench and use the four to loosen the bolt up top. So uh, once the rack is attached to the mounts at the dropout uh, above the hub, we're gonna start working on the arms up here. So all we need to do is grab our four millimeter Allen key and an eight millimeter open-ended wrench and go to the bottom of each bolt and attach the eight mil and use the four mil to loosen the bolt completely. Then once those guys are completely loose, we can take out the bolt and nut and put those to the side so we don't lose them. And just do that for all four bolts on top of the rack. Once you remove all four bolts, you can start positioning the arms of the rack and you can get a good rough estimate by just kind of positioning them so that the arm is just above the um, bolt on the seat stay. So you can even go like this and then flatten the arm right back and where it sits, you can just start inserting the bolts back into the rack. Um, so there's three tracks along here and you'll notice that the correct position for this bicycle will be all in the third track. Uh, so you just line up this hole with this bolt and then you can start inserting all the bolts right back into place. Once you get these guys in, uh, you don't need to tighten them all the way down, just loosely do it so you can move the arms a little bit while you're doing the final adjustments. 
You don't need to measure the second arm as it'll sit in the same place as the first one. So once your arms are loosely in place uh, on the rack, uh, in the right position on the channels in the rack arms, um, you can start undoing the bolts on the seat stays so that you can lock down the arms at this position. So you loosen this bolt and completely pull it out of the frame. Put that to the side for now. And then once this bolt is totally free from the frame, you can start by bending this arm right to match this eyelet. And it's a thin aluminum, so you can totally just bend it pretty easily. Uh, you don't need to bend it beforehand. It'll bend itself when you tighten all the bolts down to its uh, final position. So you can tighten this guy all the way down tight and then do the exact same for the other arm. Just push down on this arm to match it up with the eyelet. Tighten that guy down as well. And then once we have everything lined up and bolted down, uh, we can start to measure out where the rack's gonna sit. So from here you can tell it is a little bit too forward. Uh, and all we need to do from here, since these bolts are loose, is just push this guy back until it's straight. In this case, uh, it'll be all the way back on the end of the arms. Um, but from here, this is as straight as we're gonna get with this rack. And we can go ahead and tighten everything down. Again, grab your four millimeter wrench and eight mil. Go underneath, just like you did when you loosened them, and just tighten them this time. So clockwise, when you turn your Allen key, and tighten them as tight as they'll get. Start on the back side, and then we can move to the front. And you'll notice as you tighten everything down that this arm starts to bend into shape. And then once it really sits there, it cold sets so that it will bend to shape this bicycle. And again, just make sure these guys are really tight. Go ahead and double check all the rest of the bolts. And once you make sure that all the bolts are tight throughout the entire rack and everything's straight, uh, you're all set from there. Please shoot us an email at info at Priority Bicycles if you have any questions or give us a call anytime during the week. Thanks.